Welcome to this quick demonstration of how to first install Go Crazy on your Raspberry Pi. I'm going to assume that you have already done the preparation work of installing Go and installing the Go Crazy CLI. I have prepared an entirely empty SD card and we're going to jump straight to step two of creating a new Go Crazy instance. With the GOG new command, we can see that we now have a new instance created and we can use the GOG override command to write it to the empty SD card. Now I'm going to insert the SD card into my Raspberry Pi. Now that the Raspberry Pi has started up, we can copy and paste the link of the GoCrazy CLI gave us to open up the web interface of GoCrazy. Let's add another program to this GoCrazy instance. We're going to use the webstat command. And this time, instead of using gok override, we're just going to say gok update. Now that the device is back, we can reload the web interface. And indeed, we see the webstat command has been added and it should now be available on port 6618. And indeed, we now see the same output in our web browser as on the connected monitor. 